We'll start with some basic questions. The sky is... In a world where it feels like nothing is as it seems. Blue. It's blue, of course. Oh, the sky's blue. The sky is blue. One plus one is... Two. 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 There's at least one truth we thought was indisputable. And the Earth is... Flat. Flat. The Earth is flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the Earth is flat and stationary. Or so I thought. But for the people attending the first Flat Earth International Conference here in Cary, North Carolina, their Earth, indisputably, is not round. Everybody here can agree on absolutely one thing, which is it is not a globe. For centuries, a flat Earth was accepted as certainty until science and sailboats said otherwise. And one of the rules of power is you never admit that there's someone bigger than yourself. But it wasn't until 2015 when this guy, Mark Sargent, posted his flat Earth clues. Part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the flat Earth system we live in. You're kind of the like father of this oh, movement. Boy, how, how would you? Don't do You're that. You're the one who sort of started it so all. I did not invent flat Earth. All I did was walk up to a door, point at it, say, you know what? I think there's some really interesting things on the other side of this, and check it out for yourself. If flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA then I would be the freshman recruiter. People have traveled from around, actually, Mark would say, across the flat world to a tent. The first rule of flat club is you don't talk about flat club. Until now. You know, I have a poem about that. It's uh, <laughs> right here. Amy Nicholson wrote a book of poetry about her flat earth journey. A few months flat and seven months to rally. Kim Gurley came to the conference from Houston. Uh, I haven't really come out all the way yet. I'm still a little in the closet. The North Pole's in the middle. Lainey Innovale came from even farther. I mix with quite a lot of flat earthers in, a, in uh, New Zealand. You know flat earthers, I guarantee it. But you don't know who they are because they're afraid of talking about it. One, two, three. We're not crazy. Like many modern movements, this one has grown in large part out of the internet. With rappers like Odd TV evangelizing to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. No more living on a cartoon ball. And YouTube channels like Globusters. Encouraging skepticism about what you've been taught. For the serious students here at the conference. And this has got to a point now where it's becoming real. It all comes down to proof. When it comes to science, there's things you can test right now, right? Fire burns, water's wet, drop something falls to the ground, that appears to be gravity. Those are things you can test, right? But the curving horizon, the sloping sea level, the spin of the Earth, unless you can see these phenomena with your own eyes, they may not be true. A right? lot of people are going, this is This crazy. is crazy, right? But think about this. For the last 20, 25 generations, this is what we've told people. Unlike what we've been told in school, some flat earthers imagine the Earth looks like a snow globe, round, but not sphere. The North Pole is at the center of most flat Earth maps, with the ice of Antarctica holding everything in. So are you certain this is what the Earth looks like? Pretty sure. Almost. I mean, there, there are some details to be worked out, sure, but the basic concept is sound, absolutely sound. And one thing, again, we absolutely know for a fact, this ain't it. So those iconic blue marble images seen from space, flat earthers denounce them as fakes. You start seeing words like composite or animation or you know something that tells you this is not an actual photograph of the earth. Yes, question. So if you think you I'm have questions, uh, feel free to line up and ask them while I'm reading the opening statement. The Flat Earthers have many, many more. This is what returns to Earth. Which is why I thought someone who's actually seen the Earth from space might have some answers. One plus one is? Two. What color is the sky? Blue. And the Earth is? Round, <laughs> just like it is here, this model of it. Professor Mike Massimino spent more than 20 days in space and worked on the Hubble telescope. So when you lo looked at the planet, mm -hmm. what did it look like? It looks round, folks. <laughs> it is round. My, my eyewitness account, and I looked at it as much as I could, it is round. Okay, we're in the final countdown. How you doing over there? He's played himself on the Big Bang Theory, but some flat earthers actually believe astronauts 
are just actors, part of a huge conspiracy going back to those very first steps on the moon. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You don't believe that they've gone to space? No, no, not at all. The rockets go up, sure. There's nobody in them. I hope you're ready to listen fast because I'm ready to speak fast. Rob Skiba is another one of the celebrity contrarians in the Flat Earth Movement. His popular YouTube videos and podcasts take clues from the Bible's book of Genesis. There's no way you can get a spinning heliocentric globe out of anything in the Bible. Are you just skeptical Cars. of everything? I have become skeptical of everything, and I think rightfully so. Pretty much everyone here, though, is kind of a conspiracy theorist. I'll say that's a common trait, but I think there's a little bit of conspiracy theorists in all of us. I really do. This is going to be fun. It's why many of them do their own experiments. Daryl Marble packed a level on a flight to test if the plane was flying parallel to a flat Earth. So there's going to be some science -y people who say that is a real Bobo experience. They, experiment. they have. That's a little basic. I know. It's so simple, it'll go right over your head. The credo for many of these believers, check it out for yourself. Go out and test. You just want them to ask the questions. Why do you believe what you believe? And let you go from there. Because <laughs> you know? yeah. I could tell you something, that, and then you just look at me and say, I'm crazy. A lot of people watching this are going to be like, that man well, is crazy. I'm sure they <laughs> probably do. And, and I would say, well, they're crazy for not testing what they think they believe. Mm -hmm. But in a world of disagreements, large and small, for something as clear as this horizon, the interpretation could be infinite. For Nightline, I'm Eva Pilgrim in Cary, North Carolina.